Doodle bud. Oh, the pen we're looking at today is not in this pen case. It is in this box. Tabaldi. Slide. Pen. Remove. Warranty. Two years. Cartridges. Fancy. So this 70s retro looking pen is the Tabaldi Infrangible in ginger beige. This was kindly sent to me by the lovely people over there at Apple Bean Pens for review purposes to show you what's up, give you my thoughts, and see what's going on with this. This is my first Tabaldi pen, so I was excited to get one. I've heard about the name and the brand. I've heard reasonably good things, and I wanted to try it out firsthand. Also, some cool ink was sent over, some Robert Oster, and we got the 2021 Dutch Pen Show Brugen Ink. I don't know how to say that. Anyways, overall, the pen has been working quite well. Sealing has been great. I'm going to run through all the parts of the pen, all that kind of stuff. Writing sample, of course, and show you what's up. But to give you a true representation of the funky colors, we're going to head straight into glam shots. And definitely has that 70s vibe it throws me back to like uh, orange shag carpet dark brown cupboards in a kitchen with those yellow windows on the cupboards that type of thing so if you're a bit nostalgic and that uh, this would be the one for you this is the ginger beige color obviously there are other colors with this pen but i have been enjoying it it's very comfortable to use as you can here see here we got some silver trim chrome trim here with the resin body Lots of different swirls. Of course, every pen will be a little bit different just on how it's turned and the batch of resin, all that type of stuff. The cap comes off in one and a quarter turns. Threads are pretty darn smooth. There's one little spot where it just has a hair more resistance for a touch. And I've noticed that's been going away. So there could be one thread that's just off a hair, but uh, it seems to be smoothing out there as well. But really, really nice pen. Good threads. Triple start posts all that good stuff quite comfortable in the hand good size when it's posted doesn't back weight because it's a light cap we'll do weights in a moment and big enough to fit in a hand that even a large hand like mine as well very comfortable it comes in all the different nib sizes from extra fine up to i know broad for sure can't rem remember if they have double broad the uh, link will be down there in the description to the apple boom site so you can check out all the options in color treatments as well we got the Tabaldi there so the b that is stamped in and the logo that is done via laser i'll probably get you a close-up at some point with that as well we have a few other little markings here on here no cap bands or anything so it's very simple very very plain um, but it looks quite nice we got Tabaldi here and made in italy here on the back of the pen as well nice little clip quite functional everything works fine it is it is pretty stiff i found for a, a you know functional clip to go over top of something that's a bit of a of a stiffer one so again i don't clip pens and shirt pockets so that doesn't bother me too much but uh, that would be maybe the only thing i would say on the whole pen that i found is the clip's a bit too stiff we'll pop this off here cartridge is included along sorry converter is included along with the other two cartridges so everything's nice to get you up and going um, standard converter here, but we got the Tabaldi on there. I can't remember. Is this one the, yeah, this, is this a thread in? Yes, it is a thread in. Um, threads in quite nice. We don't have to worry about the metal section and these light little threads. That's about the only time I don't care for a thread in converter is when we got metal here, just because the threads on the converters are always quite thin and slight. I always worry about that, but it just goes in there no problem, holds it nice and secure. There's no rattling with it, so sometimes when you have a pen and you give it a tap, the converter rattles. This does not rattle all, so that's quite nice. Yeah, overall fitment. The uh, the trim rings here, those line up. There's no burrs on that. Everything's smooth. It's it's pretty much a, uh, a flush cap, right? So there's no step or anything there. That sometimes worries me because typically when you have a flush cap like that, it means you have a significant step down. That is not the case with this pen. It's a very, very slight step down. And the uh, the material, this particular resin, it, it really does feel nice in the hand. It's, it's quite grippy. So I do enjoy that. It, it, yeah, it's very, very comfortable. These threads are just really done well. They're not, you know, they're not sharp or pokey or anything. And just the way that section is built, 
I don't think there's anyone who wouldn't be able to find a comfortable grip, no matter how you grip your pens. I don't know what people do with their pens, but that's how I grip mine. You can go low, you can go high, whatever. Quite comfortable all the way. And like I said, post it up there. You're not worried about back weighting it. So very, this has just been a very pleasurable pen to use. We'll do a writing sample, of course. It's got a broad nib on this one. I find it writes maybe a little thin for a broad nib, which for me, totally okay because I usually don't like a broad nib but for folks who like a little bit of a thicker one I'll uh, I'll measure it here and you can compare it against some other broad nibs I have um, but yeah just a touch thin there let's get you some weight size comparison and get right in let's break out the trusty scale here to give it a quick uh, measure and uh, while it's powering up here if you want to know what scale this is I have a links down there in the description to my little mini Amazon store uh, so you can find a lot of the stuff that you see featured on my channel 23 grams let's call it that with a mostly full converter the cap is what 8.6 so that way we are left yeah with 14.3 in the body so a light pen but very comfortable nice weight to it nice balance very very enjoyable to use sizing up with some other pens we're going to start off with a pilot metropolitan a diplomat excellence a2 we got the tabali infringible Blammy 2000, Graphon Fiber Castell, Tamitio, and a Pilot Custom 823. Everything was rolling away in the desk here, but I picked the two pens that were the closest, the Excellence A2 there, the Diplomat, and the Pilot Custom 823. And there's the Metropolitan just as a reference. Now I am curious what this ink looks like on Regalia paper, so I have this handy dandy little book that was also included by Apple Boom. We're going to write on this one first, and then we'll hit up the Rhodia. I used my little 20x adapter, my calibration slide went to my page here. This was all like broad, double broad nib, stuff like that. And this was coming in at 0.5 millimeters, which puts it more like a medium. Again, I can't speak on behalf of all their broad nibs, but at least the one I got seems to be writing about one size smaller than most broad nibs. But I do have to say that this is an exceptionally smooth writing nib. The flow is bang on. Uh, the nib dry up has not been existent whatsoever. The pen has been left, I think now close, at least three weeks I left it. I went away on a trip. I had to do a bunch of stuff and just coming back to finish off the review now. So I think it's been for sure three weeks. Uncapped it, wrote on the paper. It didn't miss a beat. It was bang on right out of the gate. Here's a little comparison with the Rhodia paper and the Regalia so you can see a little bit difference in uh, in color. You can actually big big difference. This has a lot more red. This is a much much lighter brown, so you can see that as well. My overall thoughts of this Tabaldi infrangible. The name seems a little weird. Just I don't know. It just doesn't doesn't roll off the tongue, so to speak. Everything on here though has been fantastic. Now again, you may not like this color scheme whatsoever, and I would totally get that. Good thing is this is not the only color scheme. There's many more. But on its own, forget the color scheme if you don't like that. The pen has performed properly. I like the fact it's just over one turn to remove the cap. The threads are nice and smooth. It posts. The nib is wonderful. It doesn't dry up. You get a couple cartridges. You get the converter. Uh, yeah, all that stuff. Everything you'd like in a pen. It's doing a great job. I like the construction. Like I said, the only thing is just the clip is quite stiff. If they could lighten that up a little bit, that would be the only little suggestion I would make. I'm just going to fit that loop on here just so you can get a close-up of the nib on the engraving. And then we'll uh, we'll say goodbye. Just because I have such a short working distance with this lens, I had to actually pull the nib and feet out. But here you can see, so that looks like that stamped in there. And then we have laser engraving there with the logo. It does actually, that's quite interesting. I'm not quite sure what type of laser that is, just based on how it looks. It almost looks like this is one of those XY style uh, laser engravers. Like I have a few of those types of systems that was done just by those lines that are on there versus a Galvo style laser that uses the two mirrors in tandem. At least that's what it looks like to me here under the microscope. But we got a nice taper here 
on the slit. Uh, the tying gap is absolutely bang on. No canyoning on that nib whatsoever, and the alignment is perfect, and that slit there is looking really good. And since we got this on here, we might as well look at some of the swirls here under magnification. So, yeah, really nice. No bubbles in the resin whatsoever. Looks very well done. Of course, a huge thank you goes out to Apple Boom for sending me this lovely Tabaldi pen to review. And you know we've done a good review because I got some ink stained figures. So there we go. Success. If you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button. Looks like that. Let's chat down in the comments, likes, shares, all that kind of good stuff. I got plenty more videos coming up. Love to hear from you. Do you have any Tabaldi pens? Anyways, we'll catch you next time.